And now, backstage with Steve Rizzo. Here's something I want you to consider. Let's say that your goal is to become vice president of a big company. And after many years of intense stress, worry, and an avalanche of emotional, mental, physical overload, you finally achieve your goal. But you achieve it along with all of the wealth, prestige that comes with it. Is this success? Now, if you were to consult a dictionary, the answer would be yes, it would be success. Webster's Dictionary actually defines success as the follows. Number one, the favorable or prosperous termination of attempts or endeavors. Number two, the attainment of wealth, position, honors, or the like. I think it's absolutely amazing. It blows me away that the words happy, happiness, enjoyment, or joy are not included in the definition of the word success. Unfortunately, our conventional definition of success is simply achieving the goal. As I said, that's insane. Not enough emphasis is placed on the value of experiencing and enjoying the journey, building character, and learning life's lessons along the way. Now, here's a hypothetical question. Now, what if someone were to show you a video of yourself as you climb the ladder to great success? And in this video, you actually see yourself achieving all of the goals, obtaining all of the wealth and prestige. But during this entire process, however, you also witness how you subjected your body, mind, and spirit to intense negative energy along the way. Not only, not only were you unhappy most of the time, but you were able to see how your outright refusal to enjoy the process affected your family, your friends, your associates, and your overall well-being. You talk about a downer of a movie. I'm going to ask you this question again. Is this success? Here's the answer. No. And I really want you to get this. If the process of fulfilling your goal is polluted with negative energy and lack of enjoyment, it can only create more unhappiness, even if the outcome is positive in the short term. You see, the happiness that you feel in the moment of reaching success is a temporary state dictated. It's by its conventional definition. All the initial euphoria wears off. And you're back in the same old negative place. You know why? Because you've carried that same old mindset with you. It's a sad, classic cycle of what you sow is what you reap. Here's the truth, and it's the sad truth sometimes. It really doesn't matter how much money you have, or how famous you are, or how many goals you've achieved. It makes no difference how big your house is, or what industry accolades you racked up in your career. The entire world can view you and your entire life as the ultimate success story. But here's the bottom line. If you're not happy, you're, you're not successful. If you're not enjoying yourself during the process of whatever it is you're trying to achieve, you are ripping yourself off. And trust me, there are enough people out there willing to do that for you. The adventure towards the goal, any goal, is what brings value to it. The path towards the goal is where your life unfolds and happiness is truly meaningful. When you're in the process of working to achieve something, you're experiencing who you are and, and, and what you're made of. Your character is being tested and molded. When you become aware of the importance of every step in the process, you're sending a message not only to yourself, but to the entire universe. And you're, the message is, is that you're here, you're qualified, you're ready, and you're ready and willing to overcome the obstacles along the way. It doesn't matter what it is. All of this. They're the essential ingredients to success and happiness. There's absolutely no reason why you can't make a choice to experience and enjoy yourself on the journey towards the goal. If you do, you will no doubt have a profound appreciation on how you earned it. In my view, that is the ultimate success. If you make, and I promise you this, if you make this common sense success strategy a habit, it will transform your life.